Ironclad rule number three, respect your joints. These ironclad rules are about practical fitness. And if your fitness program isn't really designed for the long haul, then it's anything but practical. It's helpful to recognize the human body for the machine that it is. And just like any other machine, parts can and do wear out over time. You probably know from experience that an eight or 10 year old car requires more attention than a one year old car. Well, in many ways, your personal machine, your body is the same. An average 20 year old body has substantially less wear and tear than an average 50 year old. You know, 30, 40, 50 years or more of accumulated wear and tear needs to be accounted for when looking at what you're asking your body to do while exercising. This is especially true, just like the car, if you've had some joint injuries along the way or have a genetic predisposition to certain problems. It's for these reasons, exercise selection and performance matters. How you do the exercise matters. But just like many healthcare practitioners have underappreciated the role of muscle, many in the fitness industry underappreciate the risk they present to many of their clients. You know, there's a great book called Framework for the Knee, a six step plan for preventing injury and ending pain. And it was written by an orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Nicholas Denubli, and it sheds some light on the problem. He says, an overzealous personal trainer that's getting paid to produce results may push you with a lot of squats and lunges. These exercises are great for building your legs and your butt, but they apply tremendous force under kneecaps that may have weakened with age. There's nothing necessarily wrong with those programs if you have healthy knees, but kneecap wear is one of the most common problems I see in my practice, and most problems are very preventable with proper workout design. Now, this proper workout design he's talking about can be tricky to navigate, as I said before, because some people have bodily proportions that will predispose them to certain injuries. But it should be obvious that certain exercises, especially explosive ones, present a greater degree of risk across the board. And you need to be in tune with your body enough to know when you need to modify an exercise or back off completely. Exercise is a stimulus. One result is strength improvement, but the stimulus can also be the kind that just aggravates an existing injury or even creates one. While all this varies from person to person, your takeaway from ironclad rule number three should be your workout should not aggravate your joints, and if it does, you need to immediately stop, find out what's going on, and not continue to push yourself into further injury. The famous workout platitude, no pain, no gain, does not apply to joint pain. And to get back to our car analogy, even Arnold Schwarzenegger has recently become more outspoken on the importance of joint care. He says, the knees are like a tire. When the tire lasts up to 30,000 miles, you have to decide how to use them. Do you want to use them up in one year or do you want to use them over a period of 10 years? It's the same thing with your joints. That is why respecting your joints is ironclad rule number three of Strength Clinic. Hi, this is Patrick with Strength Clinic. Thanks for checking out this ironclad rule. Click the link below if you want to check out all eight ironclad rules of Strength Clinic your practical approach to fitness for a lifetime.